Hello, welcome back to another episode of From Prison to the Streets. I'm Eric. I did 11 years in prison and I talk about prison stuff. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the dog program in prison. I spoke to you before in previous videos and I talked about how I had a dog while I was in prison. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit today. So like and subscribe if you want to. And here we go. So there's a few different dog programs that run in the prison system in the state of Kansas. In Ellsworth, for example, you had a dog program when I was there that was a service dog program. Basically, guys would take dogs and they would train them to become service dogs. You had to teach the dog a new command every week. You had a certification course that the dog had to go through. You had to go through classes to learn how to be a dog trainer. And in that program, the dogs would stay with the inmates in the cells and, you know, you fed the dog, you took the dog outside, you took care of that animal. And you would go out to the yard every day and you would train it and you would work with the dog. Now in the cells, you would have toys and stuff for the dog. And in Ellsworth, they had a yard that was just for the dogs. However, I wasn't really in that program. I had a Selly who was in the program and I worked in the SLC, which was the area where they taught those classes. I was in the dog program in El Dorado and in El Dorado, we weren't really training dogs to be service animals. The dog program in El Dorado basically took dogs that were rescue dogs. There is an organization on the streets known as Alex's house and they would, you know, take in rescue dogs. And a lot of the dogs that had problems being adopted would end up coming into the prison and staying with inmates and would be taken care of by inmates. It was a win-win, you know, the dogs got some training and it helped them be adopted. And the inmates learned the value of caring for another life that was dependent upon them. It taught guys a lot of responsibility. You know, you had to be a certain incentive level in order to have a dog. You had to be out of trouble. You had to keep your cell clean, stuff like that. In many ways, it worked the same way as the dog program in Ellsworth, minus the training. We weren't training the dogs to be service animals, but we still trained the dogs. You know, we taught them to not be aggressive. We taught them to walk, you know, to heal. Um, we potty trained the dogs, stuff like that. We house trained the dogs. We also helped with the dogs if they had anxiety issues. And we worked on their aggression and we tried to socialize them out on the yard. My first dog's name was Starbuck. And he was a greyhound. He was an older dog. And when he was younger, he was a racing dog. And because of that, he had some problems. He couldn't really be adopted because of his anxiety. When they race dogs, you know, when they take off out of the gate, there's usually a, a loud sound and there's a gate crashing or there's a firing pistol. And the track that Starbuck was at had some sort of mechanism that would hit the dogs in the back of the legs at the start of the race. And so the back of his legs were all scarred up. And anytime he heard a loud noise, a loud bang or something like that, he would freak out. And it made it very hard for him to be adopted. But he was my dog for a while. And then I had another dog and I still have this dog named Nelly. My Sally and I had this dog. Um, and she had a different purpose. We got her to prove through administration for her to be a therapy dog. El Dorado is the cancer treatment center within the prison system in Kansas. Basically, if you're anywhere in the Kansas prison system and you have cancer and you have it bad, you're going to come to El Dorado. So in the infirmary there, you have a bunch of guys that are undergoing cancer treatment. A lot of guys that are terminally ill. And you also have a lot of mental health guys in the infirmary in El Dorado, people who spent a lot of time in Supermax. Because when I was there, Supermax was also in El Dorado. And guys go crazy in Supermax. So you would have a lot of mental health inmates in the infirmary in El Dorado. And our dog was a therapy dog. So we would take her back in the infirmary and 
the cancer patients and the mental health guys, they would be able to spend some time petting the dog and, you know, just spend time with an animal, which was very therapeutic for a lot of them. But I wanted to share that with you. You know, my duties as a dog handler was pretty much the same, although she had some additional commands. But, you know, for the most part, it was the same. She lived in our cell. She had her own toys. She had her own bed. She needed to be socialized. We would take her out for her to go to the bathroom and stuff like that. And she went everywhere we did. But I thought I would share this with you, and I'm going to show you guys a quick video of me and Nelly and I like dogs so I thought I would share with you some of our other dogs you know my wife and I have quite a few dogs now and so I thought I would share that with you today and let you meet our dogs so with that here you go I wanted you guys to meet Nelly Nelly is a black lab pit bull mix and this is the uh, the therapy dog that I had when I was in prison. Nellie's getting old now. She's about 15 years old. Getting real skinny. Yeah. She's old. But we love her. But yeah, she's a, she's a puppy that I had in prison. So I just wanted you guys to meet her. She's a sweetheart. I don't know if you can hear me over this dog breathing, but this is Val. She's our blue Great Dane. She's about as tall as I am when she stands up on her back legs. She's about two years old, I think. She weighs 118 pounds. She's a big girl. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? This is Lita, she's seven weeks old. She is a rescue and she is a pit bull. And right now she's trying to, ow, she's trying to eat my fingers. She's a little terror, ain't she? Good girl though, huh? You go pup? Huh? I'm just trying to pet you. Jerk. And this is Loki. This is my wife's service dog. He's about retired now. He's about six years old. He is a lab Rottweiler mix, I think. No. He is a healer rottweiler mix i believe if i'm getting that right but he's a good boy why are you climbing the tree again you get that squirrel yet get it he's above you get that squirrel get it get it get it Come on, man. Believe. You got it. Get the squirrel. You climbed up there. You might as well get the squirrel. Camacho. Hey. Hey, buddy. This is Camacho. He's my American Bulldog. He's two years old. He's an American Bulldog mixed with a German short-haired pointer. Camacho, come here, buddy. Come here. Sit. He's about 70 pounds. He's a really good dog. He's a good boy. He's my buddy. He goes wherever I go. He's always with me. See, now you met the puppies. Those are my puppy dogs. Well, I guess you guys met the puppies now, so. 
Merrick. This is another episode of From Prison to the Streets. I'll see y'all later. Right. 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 Right.